It is day 31, our last day of March Madness, and I'm here with my magic circle so we can do our last magic circle mini workout. Today's workout inspired by the exercise, the Pilates push-up. All right, so grab your circle. We're going to start on our mats on all fours, and the positioning of the magic circle is going to be kind of right on your sternum. So I'm going to kind of put my circle there, and then I'm going to set it on the floor. And I'm going to put my hands down underneath my shoulders. And what I want to find is kind of a nice all fours position. And in this position, you want to feel strong in your arms. You're pushing them out of way. Get your core engaged. And you're keeping that circle upright. The first thing we're going to do is a little stretch for our wrists, as well as just some good core work and practicing our plank position. So I want you to shift forward and it's going to feel like you're just rolling the circle on the mat. Now how far you go is up to you. Go to where it feels like a good stretch in your wrists and then you're going to come back to that starting place where your shoulders are kind of right over top your wrists. Add some breath in. You could inhale as you kind of roll the circle forward and then exhale to come back. The whole time our back is staying nice and straight you might uh, pretend like there was a drink sitting on your back that you wouldn't want to spill as you rocked the circle forward and back. Let's do one more of those. And we'll shift that circle forward, and then we'll come back. Now, we're gonna have a little balance fun here. We're gonna keep our circle right there. We're gonna keep our back in the same spot, and then we're gonna lift our right leg. Oh, I said that wrong. Well, either way, <laughs> right arm, left leg. Do an opposite arm, opposite leg, and just lift, hold, and then bring it back down and switch. And we're going to just keep alternating here for a moment, but I really want you to pay attention to those switch moments where you're being picky about not moving your back, not moving that magic circle as you lift an arm, lift a leg in opposite directions. Let's try like one more on each side. switch. One last one. And then we're going to come back to that all fours. We're going to keep our kind of plank like position with our back. We're going to start with a little version of a push up. So in this position, we're keeping our knees down on the mat. I want you to just bend your arms, make this a tricep press. So to me, that feels like I'm kind of tucking my elbows in a little bit. See if you can squish your circle. You might just see like, mm, what's my full range? And then back to straight arms, right? Where can you squish your circle, but still keep it upright, still control the movement, keeping your back in the same position and really just bending those elbows and then straightening them. And then the next one we're going to do, I'm going to call them mini, mini uh, push-ups or mini, I don't know, presses. I want you to go down, maybe as far as you can go down. And then from that place, I want you to only come up like a third of the way. So you're going to straighten a little and bend. Straighten a little and bend. You're still keeping your back nice and straight. Shoot for five of those. And then go ahead and come all the way up to straight arms. All right, now we are going to try that out in our full plank, full push-up position. If it is not there for you to come all the way up, you can play with some options on there. You could take one leg only behind you and do your bend and straighten and then alternate. Um, or you could stay right here with uh, both, both knees down. So if you're feeling like coming all the way up into your full plank, you can come up into your full plank. You can try that bend your elbows, do your push-up, and straighten, of course, much more fun. We'll get our whole body weight there and press back up. And if you want to try some of those little ones at the bottom, bend into your push-up and then just go up like a third of the way and back down. Maybe shoot for three of those. And then you could bring those knees back on the ground. Ooh. Okay, set your circle. Let's grab it actually. Let's grab that circle. I lightly have my fingers on the mat. What I want us to do is curl our toes under and you might need to 
put a hand down or help yourself and not be able to completely hold the circle through this place. But I want you to rock back and see if you can land your feet and kind of walk your hands in and then you could re grab your circle and just let yourself kind of fold forward there, holding your magic circle. Feet and knees could be about hip width apart. And then as you hug into your shoulder or hug into your shoulders, hug into your circle, anchor your shoulders and just start rolling yourself up taking a nice big breath and as you roll up let's just take that circle all the way up overhead I know you can't see me anymore but pretend and then we'll come back down lead with your circle let the top of the head kind of reach through the circle just let yourself roll down toward the floor take a little hang moment at the bottom and then we're just gonna roll up one more time so shoulder blades connected as you roll up, you're kind of pushing your thighs and hips forward. You're rolling up and you're going to stretch your magic circle up to the ceiling. And then bring those arms beside you, just standing tall. Ta-da! And then we are all done. Not with just with our workout today, but with our full month of magic circle fun, all inspired by our March Madness exercise of the day. Thank you so much for joining me this month. I hope you had fun. As always, if you have questions on anything, feel free to reach out.